Hello, Carl here. Welcome to this video on two new features in TypeScript 3.7. That's optional chaining and nullish coalescing. We're in the TypeScript playground and we're going to use this code to help us understand both of these new features. So this code at the moment isn't using optional chaining or nullish coalescing, but we're going to hopefully clean it up and make use of those two great features. Let's start to understand this existing code. So we've got a get discount function. It takes in a person object and it's going to return a discount. So inside the function, the code is checking various things about the person object and then returning various discounts if they apply. If we turn our attention to the person object parameter that's coming in, we can see that we've got various properties within it. Some are optional and some are objects themselves that themselves have optional properties. So we've got this object graph going on and some of the properties in there are optional. And this is the situation where optional chaining and nullish coalescing really shine. So let's start to understand the logic within the function then. So this first check is we're checking whether the person is over 70 and if they are, we're going to return a 10% discount. So we're looking at the age property, but the age property is optional, so it can be undefined. So we're doing that check before we check in whether the age is over 70. Now the next rule is a little bit more involved. So if the person hasn't had an order or hasn't had an order that's had a discount, then we're going to give them a 5% discount. We need to be careful in the checks because orders is optional, so it can be undefined. We've also got discounts that can be undefined within the order as well. So you can see we've got a little bit of code there to deal with those cases. The next rule is interesting. So we're just looking to see if they've ordered a particular product. If they have, we're going to return a 2% discount. And then the last rule is if the person's in the UK, we're going to give them a 1% discount. So we're constantly having to check in the code whether properties are undefined before we're actually doing the real check. So there should be plenty of opportunity for us to improve this code with optional chaining and nullish coalescing. So let's start to make some changes. And we'll start with this age over 70 discount. So we're going to start by removing that check on the age for whether it's undefined. And as we expect, TypeScript is complaining. And what we can now do is use a nullish coalescing operator, which is a double question mark, to say if the age is null or undefined, let's use zero. And the TypeScript type error goes away and the code is a little cleaner. So if we look at the next discount rule, we can see that we kind of coalescing the orders property there. If it's undefined, we want to use an empty array, but it's not quite as accurate as a nullish coalescing operator because it's not just checking for null or undefined, it's any falsy value. So let's make that a little bit more robust and we'll replace the double pipe with a double question mark. Good, so skipping down to the next discount rule, we've got exactly the same thing. So let's make the same improvement there as well. Now let's move back up to that 5% discount rule where we're inspecting the discount property. And we need to check that the discount is not undefined before we check its percent property is greater than zero. This is a great candidate for optional chaining. So let's give that a go. And we're going to start by removing that check for undefined. And of course, TypeScript will complain. But what we can now do is use the optional chain in operator which is a question mark after the property that can be null and that allows the execution to carry on without blowing up so in the case where discount is undefined that whole expression is going to return undefined it's not going to throw an error but we can't do a greater than operator on undefined and zero so typescript is warning us about that but what we can do is we can use the nullish coalescing operator again to return null if that statement is undefined. And the type error goes away and the code is a little cleaner. Let's skip down to that last rule then. So if the person's in the UK, let's give them a 1% discount. So you can see this is a great candidate for optional chaining. We're checking whether the address is undefined and then the country is undefined before doing the actual comparison. 
So we'll start out by removing those undefined checks and types where it's going to complain. Let's put that optional chaining operator in and everything's good. So if the address is undefined or if the country is undefined, we're going to get undefined returned and we can quite happily compare that to UK to do our check. So we've got some console logs down the bottom there to give our function a test. Let's run that and let's have a look at the results. So first up we've got Jane and Jane is over 70 so she's going to get a 10% discount. Then we've got Bob and we can see Bob hasn't had any orders so he's going to get 5% discount. And then we've got Fred who has had orders but none of them discounted so he's going to get 5%. And then we've got Anne with that special product so she gets 2%. And then we've got James who is in the UK he's going to get 1%. So the function's working, the function's a lot cleaner, everything's good. So optional chaining is really useful when we need to navigate through an object and some of the properties through that navigation might be undefined. And then nullish coalescing is good when we've got the result and it can be undefined or null and we want to set that to something else two cracking features in TypeScript 3.7. That's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it.